And as we can see right now, the storm currently a category five storm moving northeast at 14 miles per hour. But take a look here. The eye of Milton right now is shrinking. So what it's happening is it's encountering more in the way of wind shear off to the north. And what that's doing, it's kind of shredding those upper level winds of the hurricane itself and we will gradually see it weakening, but still a very dangerous storm at that. Governor Ron DeSantis announced 300 dump trucks remove more than 1300 loads of debris left behind by Hurricane Helene. Mayor of St. Petersburg, Florida is preparing residents for the unprecedented conditions Milton will bring. We're expecting winds of over 100 miles per hour, winds we did not receive with Hurricane Helene. We're also expecting to receive between 10 to 15 feet of storm surge, and it's twice the level of Hurricane Helene's. So as you can see, they're very dire situation. The latest track here with uh, what we're seeing a little bit further off to the north and a little bit more intensity. Our latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center, Category 4 at landfall and still maintaining that Category 1 strength as it passes through Florida. So we'll be feeling these effects far and wide. Tampa Bay, point southward, that's where we could be seeing that storm surge 10 to 15 feet plus.